Hey guys, welcome to another video. So if you watched my previous video, that was a test and review of a thermal label printer. Um, you're gonna like this one. So this video is just explaining how to use it, how it works, and how to connect it to your laptop so that you can print from your laptop and how to connect it to your phone so you can print from your phone. So here's the printer. It is super cute and compact, super easy to use. And behind here is the roll of the stickers that I was printing my logo on. So in my previous video, I printed my logo on these stickers that I put on my packages. I will show you guys that in a second. So here I have an order that's all packed up. And as you can see, it has the sticker with my logo. This one is a bit off centered because I wasn't um, putting the paper in properly, but they helped me out and told me what to do. And like you can see on here, they're perfectly centered but I did have to use the ones that weren't centered also. So that's why this one is not centered, but the rest are, so that's amazing. So to connect the printer to your phone, it's super easy. I can't really show you because I'm recording with my phone, but I have the user manual here. And when you buy the printer, you will get the user manual. And there is the QR code right here to download the app. And you just have to download the app and connect the printer to the same Wi-Fi that your phone is connected to. And then you're literally all good to go and um, you can print on these circular stickers or there's also like the shipping labels like this that you can print um, the shipping labels and stick it on your packages when you have to ship them. But now I will show you guys how to connect the printer to your laptop and I will be able to show you guys that because I can film with my phone. So the first step is to go on the link here and that is for the Windows system, which is um, what I have. So it brings you here and it is the Munbin Wi-Fi printer driver setup. So I will click direct download and join pCloud. So I will just sign up with my Gmail account. So it wants you to install and download the pCloud drive on Windows, but instead I will just continue on the browser for now. So I will just press here. So um, the Wi-Fi printer driver setup is installing, so yeah. So if I'm gonna be honest, I'm really not sure how this works. Um, it's kind of unclear, but um, I'm also not good with technology. So this is a learning curve for me but it was definitely a lot easier to print from my phone. So if I do ever need to print stuff with this printer, it will definitely be from my phone, but um, I do want to figure out how to do it from the computer. So stick with me. Okay, so right now I'm just going in my settings on my laptop and connecting the printer. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the whole website is about, like the P cloud. Um, but I'm just connecting the printer for now to see if that works. So I'm just gonna change the paper because I'm going to run a print test page. So I don't wanna use the round sticker. So I just have to press down on here and it opens and I will spread this. This is just the wire from my ring light. So yeah, we're gonna take this out and we will put this one in so it says uh this side down so i'm probably gonna have to give it a little bit more room and i'm gonna have to separate these a little bit more i think i'm gonna have to like slide this in there we go and i will need to tighten these a little bit So I'm just going to give it a little bit more room back there. So I'm just going to close this. There, so it is all perfect. So I will run the test print right now. Um, maybe if it works. Okay, let's try the test print again because it didn't work earlier. What's going on? It just like went through, but it didn't print anything. I think that means that it worked though, because then I can just pull it back. So let's try to actually print something now. 
So I don't actually have any orders to ship, so I won't be doing an actual shipping label because obviously I'm gonna have to pay for that, so I'm not gonna do that. But I did find an image of a mock shipping label, so I will try to print this one on the shipping label just to see how it turns out and how easy it prints. Um, I have to put it in portrait. Paper type, label. All right, let's try this again. Okay, there it is. So it is a bit lopsided, so I'm gonna see if it is the way I put the paper in, but um, yeah, so this is just like a fake one. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna open this and see if it is in there and I'll try to print it again to see if it can be um I mean more centered or whatever I don't know there is a bit of wiggle room here let me try okay so let's try that again I'm gonna have like a bunch of fake shipping labels, but that's okay. So, label. All right, let's try again. There we go. So this one is perfectly um, straight, look at that. So I think it's because I had selected mini tray, but then I just left it at auto select for tray type or whatever. So yeah, this one, the first one was a little bit lopsided, but this one is perfect and it is just a sticker that you can peel off like that and stick right on top of your package when you get an order. Okay, so honestly, I don't know what the whole pea cloud thing was about. So um, honestly, I don't think you need it. There might be a reason for it, but I seriously think you can just connect your printer to your computer by connecting it to the same Wi-Fi. And you can also connect it to your computer using the USB cord that comes with the printer. But I find the Wi-Fi way is just easier, but that's just for me. So if you wanna use the USB cord, go for it. But um, you just need to find the image or the label that you wanna print and just press print, select the printer, press label for um, the type of paper, and you're all good to go. And I will try to print my logo on the circular ones uh, from my laptop. Okay, so I will put the circular stickers in now to try to print my logo. So I will just open this like this. And I will pull this one out. adjust those things that kind of hold the paper. There we go. So I finally got it to um, kind of like identify the paper and place it properly. So I will be trying to print my logo. Um, I don't know exactly how it's gonna do. Label. Okay, so I'm kind of scared, but let's try. change the size definitely let me try that so i cannot figure out for the life of me how to um put like a custom size in my printer kind of thing to print this half the size because this was uh four inches by four inches and the stickers are actually two inches by two inches so I tried everything, I googled everything on how to do that, and I just can't do it, like my 
computer won't let me. So um, the computer is nice to print the shipping labels, but if you wanna print the circular stickers, just do it on the app on your phone. It's gonna be so much easier. It literally takes me 10 seconds to print one on my phone. And um, I feel like it would be a lot easier to print a uh, shipping label on your phone too. So I just wanted to show you guys how to do it on the computer just for the sake of it. But uh, personally, I would definitely stick with printing from my phone. And I just know that it's a lot easier because I couldn't even print the circular ones properly on my computer. So, but on my phone I could, so I mean, I just feel like it's a lot easier on my phone, but I just wanted to try it on my computer. But now I know that I will definitely be printing from my phone. So uh, this printer is actually great for uh, shipping labels. If you do get a lot of orders online that you need to physically ship, and I don't get that many orders online because the shipping costs where I am is absolutely crazy. And I do have to charge it to my customers and I completely understand if customers don't want to pay like $20 for shipping for a small stuffed animal, I wouldn't either. So yeah, I don't use uh, shipping labels that often, but I really do like the stickers with my logo on it. I think that's super cool. And then I do have the shipping labels in case I do get some orders online. So if you do get a lot of orders online, make sure to check out the link in the description to get your own. And this is a game changer. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!